Hi everyone, I have 8 Halloween DIYs today made from mostly Dollar Tree items. So I have this trick or treat sign, and it's made with wood. I'm just going to take the twine off. I'm going to save it for later. And then I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue. And then I start gluing on some tower blocks. And I didn't use a whole pack for this. I'm not sure exactly how many I used. So I started at the bottom and I'm just making sure they are all straight. And I had to leave a wee gap in between them to make sure that they would all fit. And then I just make sure I wipe off the excess glue on the outside because you're going to see it. And I speeded this video right up. <laughs> um, I wish I could put them on that fast. But yeah, just space them out so that they will all fit. And this is going to be a planter. And if you want to, you can cover up the inside with popsicle sticks or something. Um to cover up the trick-or-treat but I'm just going to put stones in it so I don't really need to cover it up and also if you wanted to you could cut down the pieces of wood from Dollar Tree or some paint sticks and use them instead so I was going to leave it like that but then I decided that it wasn't sturdy enough so I decided to glue some more tower blocks on the inside so I just used the wood glue again and then I just spread them out inside and that made it sturdy enough so I could put the stones in it and you don't have to make this a planter you could just make it a sign because you can still see all the trick-or-treat part or you could put some a pic um, scrapbook paper or something in there and make it a wee shelf or something and I stained it with the Jacobean wood stain but you can make it any colour you like and I just filled it with some Dollar Tree rocks and some succulents This is a really easy DIY. I got this sign from Dollar Tree and I just pulled the pumpkin off the front and any little extra bits of paper that were coming off. And then I got this scrapbook paper from Amazon, so I'll link it down below. And I chose this damask pattern and I was going to try and cut it down to just glue it in without taking the back off, but it's better if you take the back off. You just need to make sure you take off all the extra bits of paper and give it a wee sand and then I took a glue stick and I just put the glue stick all over the inside of the frame and stuck down the scrapbook paper and then I just trimmed off the excess with some scissors And then I just hot glued the back on again. And I put some extra hot glue on after I put that piece in just to make sure it doesn't come off. And then I just made sure there was no extra hot glue coming out. And then I found this glass sticker from Dollar Tree and it has a sugar skull on it so I just stuck that in the middle and this is how it turned out and I would keep this up on my wall all year round because <laughs> I love skulls I bought these wee signs from Dollar Tree last year but I think they have them this year as well so I really struggled <laughs> I'm doing the knot on the hanger but I wanted to keep it so I could reuse it for this DIY but I just did not want to come apart <laughs> so 
so I eventually got it apart. Okay, no, I still haven't got it apart. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then I have these stickers from Dollar Tree. And the wee mirror is from Michael's or Joanne or Hobby Lobby, one of them. I don't know, I bought them a while ago. And I'm just going to glue this sticker around the outside to make a frame for the mirror. And you just have to snip off one of the wee pearls at the end and then you can join them together. And put that in the right place. <laughs> so then I just did the same thing all the way around the mirror. Oh, where the mirror's gonna go. <laughs> And then, if you're missing any of the wee rhinestones, you can just stick them on. Then I painted it with some black acrylic paint from Walmart. And then I'm going to use some of this folk art gold metallic paint. Oh. I didn't use the paint yet. <laughs> I'm gonna use the paint after I glue on, stick on these stickers that I got from Dollar Tree last year and I never used them so I thought I better use them this year. I don't know if they have the same ones but I changed my mind <laughs> and decided to use a different one. I decided to use the one I was originally going to use. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the gold paint and I'm just going to brush it on over where I put those stickers. Just to bring out the detail. And then I glue on the mirror. And then I reused that wee piece of ribbon that came with it. I know I don't. I put some more, <laughs> dry brush some gold around the outside. And then I use the wee piece of ribbon. And this is how it turned out. Sorry for the, f <laughs> the light from my phone in the mirror. It's so hard to film mirrors <laughs> but it turned out cute anyway and you could always put a wee picture or something in there instead of a mirror and then i have this happy halloween sign from dollar tree and i'm just taking an exacto knife because i couldn't be bothered looking for <laughs> the um box cutter but this worked and I'm just going to take out the Happy Halloween part and the bat at the bottom and I'm going to keep the bat at the top. So it comes off pretty easy. Okay, I kept the bottom bat. <laughs> you could keep both bats if you wanted to. And they would still look nice. So once I broke off all the wee pieces, I then take a sanding block and sand it down so it's smoother. I also use scissors to try cut any of the wee pieces off. And then I'm using these stickers again and I'm just going to stick them. I'm just going to stick them down um, the inside of this wee frame. And you just do the same thing, just cut off one of the pearls and so that they all fit in together nice. I 
and it doesn't matter if the colours are not the same because you're going to paint over it anyway. So now I'm just putting on some different size of the half beads and I'll link them down below and I'm just putting them in some of the spaces on the frame because I want to give it some extra detail make it a bit fancier. I think you can get different size. I know you can get some pearl stickers from there. You can probably get different sizes or see what they have if you don't want to get the wooden beads. So once I decided where they were all going, I just glued them down with some of the wood glue. And if you take the bat off the top end, <laughs> you won't need to cover the hole where the hanger was and you can reuse that hole. I gave it two coats of the black acrylic paint, you can spray paint it if you want to. And then I have this mirror from Dollar Tree and I'm taking the frame off. And then I'm just going to glue the mirror to the back. And then I am using another one of those pieces of ribbon from the last DIY to make a hanger and this is how it turned out it's hard to film didn't want to be in the mirror <laughs> but I think it turned out really nice and I would keep this up I'm gonna keep it up in my craft room and this wooden plaque is from Dollar Tree and I painted it with some black acrylic paint and then I'm just going to dry brush some gold paint around the outside I added silver to it off camera after it was finished because as you'll see the stickers in the next clip are that they have silver in them in a bronzy colour but I didn't have any bronze paint <laughs> So it's just gold and silver and I'm just dry brushing it on and I just dry brush all the edges. You could do the inside if you wanted as well, it's up to you. Now I got these stickers last year as well, I don't know if they have them this year but I liked how they looked, just how they were on the sticker sheet. So I decided just to stick them down just like that. And I think these stickers are really cute. And of course I love skulls. And then I just made a hanger with a twine, with a twine, <laughs> with some twine and a popsicle stick and the hot glue. And this is how it turned out and it was nice easy DIY but it turned out really cute this pack of skulls is from Dollar Tree and there's eight in the pack and I'm just going to use my glue gun to make a hole in the top and the bottom in like opposite <laughs> each other and um, 
you could probably use a drill for this. Um, probably better if you had a bigger glue gun nozzle. <laughs> but I just do that to all of the skulls. And then I have this wee shell from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to open it up and then put the string and the wee ring for the top to the side. Actually comes in a pack of two and I'm only going to use one. One of them was kind of bent actually. So watch out for that when you go buy it. And then I stained it with some, I stained everything with some early American wood stain. So I wanted the skulls to look older and less plastic. <laughs> so I'm just taking the string and then I'm hot gluing the end and feeding it through the hole. I don't know, I, need, I have to use a, a skewer to put it through, I don't know how they thought we were going to get it through <laughs> those tiny wee holes and then I tie the end off Ah, oh, I was starting to do the other side there <laughs> um, and then I hot glue the end and I glue it to the skewer I make sure it's not going to come off so that I can feed it through the skulls so the first two I have to put it through the bottom I ended up having to make the holes bigger so I, f I do it through the bottom for these two and then for the next two I have to do it to put the string through the head and come out the bottom then I just thread it through the shelf again had to re-glue it <laughs> and then push it through and then I just tied it off at the bottom it was hard to get it through <laughs> so yeah I just tied it and then I did the same for the other side okay I'm putting the ring on one side <laughs> This actually was quite easy this DIY. The skulls, uh, they were sticky for a while but by the time I did this DIY they dried completely because I wasn't sure how it was going to work but I knew that was the colour that I wanted to use. So just repeat the same thing for the other side. Put, well I put whichever if it's the back, you need to put, if you start at the back of the shelf, you need to put the skulls going from the bottom up to the top of the skull and then for the, f the front, whichever you did on the other side, <laughs> you need to copy. So just tie it off when you get to the end and then once you put the ring in you need to make sure that all the pieces are the same length so that the shelf sits level and I just hot glued the skulls in the position that I wanted. And I wanted them all to face the front but at an angle and I just put a wee plant on it but I think it turned out cute if you wanted to you could make the rope a different colour or you could use some 
of the brown twine but I didn't have any that thick so I'm using what it came with. I'm using an 8x8 frame from Amazon and I will link it down below. And then some tower blocks. These were the ones left over from the pack I used earlier in the video. So I'm just gluing them and measuring what length I need them to be. And just marking it with a sharpie. And then I shouldn't have glued the last one on. <laughs> And then I could have cut it already. So I'm just gonna um, do the next row and I'm making it look like a brickwork pattern because this is gonna be the floor. And you can put them all the same if you want to, if you don't want to cut it, but I wanted to do this pattern. So I just keep gluing them and I do four rows. And then once that's done, I cut off that one I already glued. Oh no, I didn't, it wasn't glued yet. <laughs> so then I cut it down where I'd marked it. And then I glued it on. And then I just uh, marked off where I needed to cut the next bricks. And I just cut them down as well. And I'll link the saw down below because it comes in handy, especially for the blocks. So there's a wee bit of sewing, but it's not, it's not a lot. And it's still pretty easy. But this is a um, longer DIY, because there's a lot of steps. So I'm just sewing the last piece, and then I'm gonna glue it in. And then I'm just going to glue this tower block piece to the wooden frame. And now I'm going to make the fireplace. So I was going to make it just the, the top of the fireplace, just one row. But then I decided to add on another row. <coughs> so I wanted it to stick out a bit more. So here I am as the next row. <laughs> And then I'm just gluing these pieces on. And I don't glue the fireplace on yet. I'm just leaving it there to dry. And I stained it all with Jacobean wood stain. And this is what it looks like. So I got this um, scrapbook <laughs> from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And it's got lots of nice patterned pages in it. The only thing is they're double sided with the same pattern. Which is a bit silly but I'm only going to use each one once I suppose. So I'm just measuring it so that I can cut it to size. And I was trying to get it so the pattern would be even on each side. But it just wasn't going to work. This is me trying to figure it out. <laughs> so I got it as best as I could. Hey, if that doesn't bother you then just cut it wherever you want. <laughs> After I marked it I just cut, cut it out with some scissors. and made sure it fit and just trimmed off any extra if I needed to
assisted by both. The ritual occurs, or step through. So I'm just going to stick the fireplace in now. I'm just using hot glue. And then I got these wee wooden pieces from Dollar Tree. Took me years to find them. <laughs> But I finally found them, and they're going to work perfect for my fireplace. Oh, I actually painted the inside of the fireplace first. <laughs> I just used some black acrylic paint. I did two coats, and now I'm going to use the wood pieces, and I just glue them in place. So I tried to find some like orange and red and yellow tissue paper in Dollar Tree but I couldn't find it because I was going to try and make a fire so you can always do that if you want to and this is one of the six inch dowel rods from Dollar Tree I'm just using my exacto knife to cut pieces out of it because I don't want it to look perfectly round and this is going to be the broomstick handle so I just keep chipping away until I was happy with how it looked and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and that's how it turned out <laughs> and I'm just taking some twine and I'm wrapping it around my fingers I'm not sure how many times I did it maybe like 15 or something <laughs> and then I'm just gonna tie the top of it And then I'm going to cut the bottom. Then I'm going to cut the top. And then put the stick in the middle. And then tie a piece around it. Oh, I twirled it around a few times and then I, I hot glued it. And then I just pulled all the pieces so they would all be almost the same length. And then I just trimmed off the longer pieces. And then I just hot glued it inside. And that's it. So I'm just going to glue this to the side of my wee picture. Oh, I burn it with the I burn it with the lighter. You don't have to do that, but this is going to be a witch's house, <laughs> living room, and. Uh, I don't know why everybody always have to make witches places all dusty and that. Um, I wanted mine to look nice. So I have this wee cauldron I got from Dollar Tree and I got it when it was St. Patrick's Day. But I think they start bringing them out for Halloween now. And I was going to paint it but then decided just to scuff it up with the sand and block. Just to take all the shine off it. And I'm just going to glue it in place. And then I found these wee cute glass bottles from Dollar Tree. And I was only going to use one, but I ended up using another one later on. Oh, and these skeletons. Pretty much everything is from Dollar Tree, except for the scrapbook paper and then another piece I put on later. So I wanted to glue a wee skull on it, but here I'm just setting it out and figuring out where I'm going to put stuff. But the rest of the body, the witch is cooking up. <laughs> so I just put all the pieces in the cauldron. I 
I decided to get some pieces of greenery because they're like the herb she's cooking up with. <laughs> you could put whatever you want in your cauldron. And I thought the bat, uh, the bat and the spider were going to sit, but they just fell to the bottom. So I just put a wee hot bit of hot glue on things so they would stay in place. And these are stickers from Dollar Tree. This one says Hocus Pocus on it. So I thought that would fit nice. And then I just start gluing the other pieces in place. This is the other piece, this is a key, a wee key that I had, so I decided to put it there. I glued on a couple more bottles, one of them was the bigger bottles, and then I glued a wee bat on. And this is how it turned out, and I think this is one of my favourite DIYs I ever did, and I really enjoyed making it. And this is just one of the frames from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking the sand and block to it because I didn't want it to be shiny. And then I unscrewed the wee bit from the top. And this is some more scrapbook paper I got from Amazon and it's really pretty so I'll link this one down below as well. And. I was trying to decide which picture I was going to use <laughs> as I wanted it to be the window looking out onto the forest or the full moon or something like that. <clears throat> it has some stickers at the back as well. I wish they didn't have the writing on them. So I went for this picture and I just have to work out where I'm going to place it. And then I just traced around with a pen and cut it out with some scissors. And this DIY, I was supposed to take a picture of it by itself because it could be a DIY on its own. <laughs> but I'm going to... I was supposed to take a video of it at the end to show you and then I'm going to add it to the next DIY. But you'll see it in the next DIY anyway. <laughs> so I just glued it back on, I mean to the back, <laughs> and then I added that wee thing again, which I end up taking off for the next DIY. And then I have a wee bat, it's like one of the wee bat rings. I got it last year so I just added it to cover up that wee part in the middle and this is one of the games from Dollar Tree so I'm just going to take off this back strip of wood and I'm just using my X-Acto knife and then another tool that I got from Dollar Tree that didn't work so I used my Cricut tool <laughs> then I went back to the X-Acto knife and scored it off a bit and it made it a bit easier to get off. So once I got it off, I'm just going to glue this with some wood glue to the back of one of these canvases that I showed you earlier. And then I put some heavy bottles on it till it was dry and then I sanded off the wee um, piece on it, I think it said green, did it say green briar? I don't know. <laughs> then I stained it with the early American wood stain and then I looked for one of these baths for so long at Dollar Tree and then I finally found one. <laughs> so I painted it with some black acrylic paint and then I took some gold metallic paint and then I just dry brushed that 
around the top rim and the legs on the bath. You can spray paint the bath if you want to, but spray paint just takes so long to dry. <laughs> you can dry brush gold over the whole bath if you want to, it's up to you. So I have these wee skeletons again, and I thought they were going to be big enough for the bathtub, but they're a wee bit small, so I'm just going to use two <laughs> to fill up the bath a bit. So I'm just positioning them as deciding which ones are going to look the best. And then I just hot glue them in place because I wanted the back one to be sitting up a bit. I just hot glued the next one in place. And I'm using this red glue that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to pour it all in. <laughs> so I thought this glue was going to sit and I had it in in this bath in the fridge for a week <laughs> and it didn't set completely i was trying to get the bubbles out of it with the hot um the heat tool so i just pushed them kind of to the back of the skeletons so here i'm just using some wood glue to add four tower blocks to the back of this piece that i made earlier and then I cut a piece of foam board and painted it black and I made it um, a bit longer than the scrapbook paper and so that I could glue it to the back of the piece that I just shown you and here I was deciding which piece of paper I was going to go with I did want to make two walls for this DIY but I couldn't find the paper that I wanted and the size that I wanted so I'm just using this scrapbook paper that I showed you earlier and I went with this green colour and I'm just using my X-Acto knife to cut it out of the book And this time I'm just using some Mod Podge to glue it on. You can use whatever glue you like. So I decided I didn't like this piece scuffed up, <laughs> so I decided to paint it with some black acrylic paint. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, just make sure if you paint it. Paint it before you put the picture in it <laughs> and make it easier for yourself. And I just dry it with the heat tool. I'll link that down below. I got it on sale a couple of weeks ago. It was only 10 bucks. I don't know how much it is now, if it's still on sale or not. But it's definitely better than using my hairdryer. <laughs> and then I take this wee piece out the back. And I should have screwed the screw back in again without the little hanging piece. So you should do that. And then I just hot glue it in the middle of this piece and I make sure I don't put it on the black bit on the bottom. I 
and I decided to make some, well, we call them skirting boards back home, but you guys call them baseboards. <laughs> so I'm just making a couple of those with a craft stick. I just cut them to size with some scissors and then I painted them black. I was going to make them wood coloured but I didn't want to go out and stain them. <laughs> I'm just going to hot glue the back of the blocks and the underneath of the frame and then glue it all together. And then I just hot glued the little skirting boards on. And I found this last year in Dollar Tree, I think it's a wee tea light holder, but I thought it would be a nice plant pot. <laughs> so I'm just using some of the Spanish moss, the like brownie coloured one, and then I found these, um, I think they're eucalyptus leaves from Dollar Tree, but I like the colour of them so... I don't want to use anything too green because this is like the skeletons had died in the bath <laughs> so the plant wouldn't be alive. And then I'm going to use this ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to Mod Podge it on. You could use um, hot glue if you wanted to But I just used Mod Podge on the bottom and then I Mod Podged it on the top as well. And the Mod Podge dries clear and it's good for gluing down fabric and stuff. And I really love this wee ribbon. <laughs> Don't have to put this on the bottom but I thought I would add a wee bit extra. So I just do one side and then I use the heat tool to dry it off a bit and I push it down as well and then I move on to the next side and I just repeat the same thing I just dry it as I go I know I'm a bit late with my Halloween video <laughs> I might make another one, so let me know if you want another one because I have a bunch more stuff that I could make some more DIYs with but I didn't want to make this video too long. So yeah, just let me know down below. Also let me know which of these DIYs is your favourite. So then I just do the last side, just doing the same thing again and then I just trim off the end with some scissors. You could cut it all down first if you want to. I got a nice spider ribbon and a spider and spider web one too. So I'll probably use them in the next video if you guys want another video. <laughs> and then I think. A video after that, I'll either do some normal DIYs or some Christmas ones, but haven't been really been inspired by the stuff, the Christmas stuff in Dollar Tree this year. So I'm taking another popsicle stick and I'm just cutting it down because I'm going to make a curtain pole. And because the scrap, the scrap of paper was a little bit smaller than what I wanted. I have to do it this way. So I just hot glue it to the back. And then I hot glue the pole on. It was just a dowel rod from... Is it a dowel rod? It was a piece of the big long long skewers that you get from Dollar Tree. That's what it was. <laughs> and it was already cut down and it was the perfect size. So I have a strip of the creepy creepy cloth and I'm just going to wrap it around the curtain pole. I was going to use some of the lace um, runner but it wasn't going to sit right so I'm using this instead. 
and then you can just always cut off if it's too long and then I just hot glued it in place on the curtain pole and I'm just gonna put it all together and uh, you can hot glue the stuff down if you want to so the bath had been <laughs> in the bath in this fridge for a week and then I was able to just place the bottle and the wee cork on it and it sat but it's still not completely dry so I don't know if you want to use that or not or if you have a better idea and um, let me know if you do don't know if this is my favorite DIY or the which one is but I really enjoyed making this one as well right, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye